In other news, Bundaberg Hospital whistleblower Tony Hoffman is suing the state government for almost half a million dollars. The intensive care nurse says Queensland Health abandoned her in the wake of the Jane Patel scandal, treating her like a leper. Tony Hoffman was hailed a hero for blowing the whistle on rogue surgeon Jane Patel. But the senior nurse says her employer, Queensland Health, has treated her like a leper. I feel very let down from an organisation that I've worked for for so long. She claims her health and well-being have suffered in the wake of the doctor's extradition and trial and her request to transfer out of intensive care and to receive specialist counselling were refused. It's taken a great toll on my health. I haven't been able to look after myself properly. The unit manager is now suing Queensland Health for negligence, seeking $400,000 in compensation. Look, it's appalling and I can only wonder why they treat her in this way. It totally bemuses me, their, their attitude in this matter. The Premier says she has nothing but respect for Ms Hoffman and will look into the issue. Queensland Health uh, stands ready to offer any further support and counselling she's been uh, provided with and offered that on many occasions. The latest criticism of Queensland Health tops off a week that's included a former employee being charged with defrauding the department of $11 million and subsequent plans to dismantle it. Tony Hoffman says the system has become a laughing stock to the detriment of those employees who work hard on the ground. Summer Burke, 10 News.